Hi, beautiful souls. I did a video in the same outfit that's kind of similar to the one I'm about to discuss today. Um, here we are going to talk about how to get your specific person completely committed to you. I'm talking like head over heels, wants full blown commitment, no games, no player energy, none of that. All right. So if that's what you're here for, then stick along and make sure you watch to the end so you don't miss any hidden gems. Let's get into this, guys. Um, if you're new here, my name is Kimiana. Welcome to the channel. We are the Intuitive Soul Tribe. Here we talk about all things law of attraction, manifesting, and mental health. So if those are your vibes and you like self-love and you like being inspired, hit that sub button, y'all. All right, let's get into this. So, whew, guys, let me tell you, man, I love my specific person. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I love that man. Okay, very much. But one thing I want to make clear it was a process when you are manifesting a different person in the person that you want your sp your specific person you got to be committed yourself because if you're not committed to manifesting and saying these affirmations and getting to the nitty-gritty with the meditations and filling in the end um this is the video for you then because guys i got all the results i got by consistency I got all the results from my SP that I wanted by not giving up because I saw a few things that seemed as though my manifestation wasn't coming. First, the flip of all, okay? I'm at that point with so much confidence in my 3D reality that even if something shows up as a projection of what I don't want, I look at that projection and I'm like, hey, uh-huh. <laughs> Listen, my specific person will do things, not as much anymore, but a lot, a lot back then because my SP felt I wasn't giving what that person wanted me to give um, to the relationship. They try to do things to trigger me like, oh, I'm going to post a video with me around girls twerking. Cool. You know, I'm going to, you know, try to hit some of her trigger points because I know that she's a bit possessive and she might get jealous. You know what I'm saying? But it's now I laugh at it. Now, like if anything like that happens or I see something that looks like, okay, they're they're in a committed relationship, da, 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 da. It doesn't matter, guys. If I see something that I dislike, when I first look at it, because my brain assuming whatever is going on, right? I just laugh because you have to have a very strong self-concept when you want to be committed to you because you got to understand what they are committing to. If you don't understand yourself enough to know what they're committing to, then get to the self-concept first and then come back to this video because self-concept is something, and you guys can watch it to the end. I'm not saying you got to leave right now. I'm just saying self-concept is the trigger point to someone wanting to be committed to you because you're committed to you. You stand 10 toes down on your boundaries. You stand 10 toes down on what you will allow and what you won't. By no means ever am I ever, 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 ever going to tell anyone to put up with abuse, verbal or physical, um, be mistreated, None of that. Even if the person showed that they were a good person first and then they became this horrible villain in your story. Sometimes when people become the villain, you gotta listen because there's a difference between I'm gonna manifest an SP that I know isn't completely toxic. What I say completely toxic is like, literally you might die in this relationship because of that person. Like if it's that serious, there's a 99% chance that you should really let that relationship go. But in the case that you're in something where you get ghosted every once in a while, um, you're dealing with, you know, his insecurities and your own. Well, let's get into the self-concept first. The self-concept is important and it is vital because just like I said at the beginning of this video, let's say you did have an abusive you know, spouse, but you still love them and you want them to change. You want them to be better. It'd probably be best that you let go of said spouse, but you start working on your self-concept in the meantime while you're not with this spouse. And once you get good with that, then you will get back on the manifesting that spouse. And here's what God would do or the universe for you. If this person really is not meant for you, they won't come in. And the reason I say that is because deeply rooted, even though sometimes we think we want something, we really don't. So what will happen is once your self-concept increases, it's up here now, you know your worth. 
So if that person comes in and projects themselves, let's say about three times into your newfound um, confidence, you won't accept it anymore. And I tell you guys that all the time. If I'm manifesting an SP and they come in like casually, I'm, I'm going to casually close the door and keep manifesting because that's not what I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting you hopping in my inbox, giving me paragraph sentences about how you want to be committed to me forever. You want to marry me. You want to have kids together. You love me. This is our story. That is what you would be manifesting. But in the case that they show up and it's not that, it's not paragraphs, you know, idolizing you, telling you that they love you, they want to be with you for the rest of their life. If that's not what you're getting, don't accept it. Because the thing is, guys, for so long, let's go back to the relationship that's toxic. If for so long that relationship was toxic and your thought process was negative and insecure, that's going to keep showing up. So until you start actively participating and just participating in the, the, the person you're creating, then it will show up the way you want. So what I mean by that, guy, let's, guys, let's say you're trying to manifest commitment, right? And your specific person comes in casually, like I said, and they text you and they're like, hey, and you're like, hey. And they're like, don't respond for like hours. And then they respond at two o'clock in the morning. Like, what you doing? And you're like, oh, nothing. Just in bed. And they're like, oh, okay. Can you come over? And you're like, yeah. If that's not what you want, if you don't want to be a bootay call, then don't participate in the bootay call. So what you do is when that person says, hey, and then they don't respond for eight hours and then they hit you up at two o'clock in the morning, you respond instead of with what they know you're going to respond with, respond with nothing. Let them see they, that you've read the message. If it's something where they can't see if you read it or not, just don't respond. It doesn't matter because what's going to happen is that's going to trigger something in your specific person that, whoa, she didn't respond. That's not like her. Let me hit her up again. And so if they still show up the next day as the same person, hey, you didn't respond to me last night. Oh, I'm sorry. I got busy. It's okay. What you doing? Oh, I'm just chilling. Oh, I was wondering if you wanted to come over tonight. What time? 11 o'clock. Why? You know, I miss you. They don't really miss you. They're showing up as what you don't want again. At that point, stop communicating. That's not what you're manifesting. What's happening when this happens is this person's thinking about you because you're saying affirmations like my specific person's obsessed with me, my, my specific person's addicted to me, my, my specific person's madly in love with me. So what's happening is they're thinking about you, but they're, they're still trying to show up as your old manifestations. Okay. Where you are today in your life is, has been your manifest. That's what's manifested. So if you want a better present, you have to believe the present is different. And so if you believe that the present is different, when the con, I'm call it the con shows up, the person you don't want shows up, then you don't answer that call no more. You don't open that door anymore. You say just as casually as they walked in, you close the door just as casually. And you say, you know what? This isn't what I'm manifesting. You don't got to tell them that. This is something you're saying to yourself. This isn't what I'm, this isn't what, this isn't it. This isn't it. Okay, you get ghosted again and you're tired of being ghosted. You're tired of the hot and cold. Put that boundary out there. Let it be known, okay, that, hey, this is something I'm not going to put up with anymore. I love you, but not going to put up with this anymore. So you either A, want to be in my life and stay in my life or B, you don't. And I will manifest something different. So what you do with that, you take your power back, obviously, but you don't start thinking that you don't have control and that you can't change the situation. Of course, you could change the situation for yourself. You could say those same exact words to him and he could think, oh, for her, um, dang, so he don't want me no more. Whatever. I don't want her or whatever, you know, the stubbornness, right, guys? Um, but you still manifest them and they're still going to keep thinking about you. And then they're going to be like, OK, there's no one like her. I want her back. So then what are they going to do? They give you what you told them when you set your boundaries. <laughs> they're going to give you that. Because they know there's no other way to get you anymore. Because you're not that person anymore. Catch my drift? So when you want commitment from someone, you don't stop till you get it. Don't stop till you get enough. Uh, no, I need to play Michael Jackson. Um, so yeah, 
Yeah, that's how that works. That's how that works. So I've had many times where communication would come in and I'd be super head over heels. I mean, I'm talking, jumping on the bed excited. You know, my whole day is great. Oh, he, he reached out, right? And then I reply and it's just so like mellow. Like this isn't, no, this isn't it. And what would I do? I won't respond. And I've done it before. I got to show you guys my screenshots. I've done it before. And the funny thing is, um, he got frustrated. He got highly frustrated one of these nights because um, he was working late or something. But it wasn't like late, late, guys. I'm not talking about 2 a.m. type crap. No, it's like, you know, regular hours, right? So um, I think I was getting ready to lay down or I was tired. I can't remember what was going on. But this person wanted to talk to me. I'm like, okay, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you, SP. But I might fall asleep. <laughs> Right. So it was funny because I, I, man, I tell you guys, I manifest my SP every day. So if you're manifesting your SP every day and you're staying active in your manifestations, they've been thinking about you. They are addicted. They are obsessed. They do want to hear from you. So what will happen is they will reach out. And so you might be like, okay, cool. You guys plan to talk on the phone or whatever, or see each other. Right. Um, and then at that point, once you have discussed that, they will start to notice that, okay, they really want to talk to me. Like these manifestations are working big times. I can tell you're, you're responding really fast. You're trying to make sure you don't miss my call. Right. And it's so funny that I've done that. I've manifested, but I had no intention of really being on the phone call or I just ended up getting really tired or just something of that nature, guys. And I promise you, I kid you not, Blowing up my phone, blowing up my phone, blowing up. They called me about three, four times in, in just one sitting. I'm talking. You didn't even get to the next minute. You ever called somebody, but you called them four times in a one minute, 60 second period? Yeah, that's what was happening. And I'm like, hold on, chill out. Cool. I'm, you know, taking a shower, whatever I was doing. Um, I think I said something on the lines of, I'll call you back. And then they were like, you know, we just playing phone tag at this point. And I'm like, you know what? We were because I had called and then he didn't answer. And so then he called, I didn't answer. And so at that point I was just like, whatever, I'm going to bed. Right. So he may have got frustrated, but the manifesting was still working. Was it not? It was. So when I said what I said earlier, guys, about the person coming in as something you don't want, when it comes in as something you don't want. Do not assume that your manifestation isn't working and that your person's not going to be committed to you and they're still trying to get booty calls and they're still trying to be a player and they still want to play games. Don't identify with that person anymore. Identify with the other person. And a lot of times, guys, when we're manifesting commitment, as long as you're saying the, the stuff you need to say in your affirmation and doing the meditations that involve commitment and your true in, which is most people want marriage and kids, if that is your true in, accept only that except only that. So when that person keeps showing up as something they weren't, say, I'm not accepting that. You don't got to tell them that. The only thing you have to vocalize to someone that you want them to abide by this. And if they don't, that this is what you're going to do. Only time you really need to do that is really in super toxic situations or boundaries are really being like jumped over or you feel really disrespected. Those are normally the cases where that is required. But other than that, if that's not the case, it's just a lot of ghosts and not ghosts, ghosts not, then stop the games. You stop the games by putting an X there and saying, this isn't going to keep happening. I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. And so while you're doing that, I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. You manifest them still being obsessed, still being addicted, still loving you. And what that, what that does is it just gives you more of what you want. That's all. And next thing you know, they're going to show up saying, which is the same thing that happened with my EP. They're going to be telling you they love you more times than they ever have. And I'm not just saying love you. I'm, I'm talking about like a full blown, I love you. Like you can see it all over their face. They love you. Okay. You're going to see these huge changes that you've never seen in this person. This person's going to be texting you things like, I miss you. You never, ever, ever texted me that. Are you serious? It's going to blow your mind. It's really going to blow your mind. They're going to end up saying words. Guys, I kid you guys not. I manifest every day. I say affirmations every day. And it still shocks me when the person I'm manifesting says exactly what I'm manifesting. It still shocks me. 
So if you're saying things like, my specific person's texting me, he misses me all the time. My specific person's texting me that he's thinking about me all the time. Guess what's going to come out their mouth? I can't stop thinking about you. I think about you all the time. I miss you. I love you. I even say, why does my specific person keep saying they love you? Love me out so much. I mean, I did not initiate any I love you's. That I love came out your mouth four, five, six times. Not mine. I mean, it did technically because I was manifesting you, but you don't know that. <laughs> I've done the same thing with binge watching, guys. Um, a lot of people will tell me they binge watch my content, which I'm grateful they do. Um, and I am appreciative and thankful to the universe. And I give my thanks when I get with my manifestations. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of stuff. When people say they binge watch, guys, that could mean anything. I could be binge watching my reels on, on Instagram. They could be binge watching my tutorials on my mod channel. They could be binge watching my gameplay and streams. It could be anything. But if, if people enjoy your content enough to binge watch it, be grateful. If your, your specific person comes to you saying they're ready to get married and have kids, be grateful. Never manifest something and not show gratitude towards it. I try to make sure that after all of my affirmations are said and done, I say, and so it is. It is already done. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. That's my belief system. But in, if you guys' belief system is thank you, universe, or your God, or your religion, then do that. Because you have power when you do that. You know how you have power? Because you give the power away. You don't put it all in your own hands and then get mad when it doesn't turn out the way you want. Give it to a higher power so you can release the temptation and the waiting and the feeling like it's not there. You can release that and go on about your life and let the higher power deal with this person coming in and showing the true commitment, guys. All right. So the key that helped me in all my commitment um, affirmations is really just manifesting my person only wants me. My person only wants to be with me. My person only wants to be in love with me. My person only wants to come to me. Um, there was another powerful one. It came into my mind, guys, and I, and I just lost it. <laughs> Come back. <sighs> devoted. That was the word. My specific person wants to be devoted to me. My specific person devotes all his time and attention to me. Um, that's, that's a little possessive, but you guys catch my drift, right? So um, make sure that your affirmations imply the things that involve commitment for you. Um, I even say things like, I'm the only person my, per my specific person wants to have kids with. I'm the only person my specific person wants to be married to forever. Um, I'm the only person my specific person thinks about all the time. I'm the only woman my specific person loves. I even go as far as say, um, my specific person gets turned off by every woman that's not me. So if you feel that there's some competition and player effery, third party crap going on, you can nip that in the bud quick. It happens every time. Every time I start saying anything around that subject, that topic of like my specific person's turned off by every woman except me. Um, my, my specific person is closed off to every woman except me. Um, yeah, it works. It works. It's crazy. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below, like the video, so that you can't haven't already guys. I love y'all. If y'all made it this far, you're now a soul gem. So welcome to our community. This is the intuitive soul drive. Your soul gem. You're going to love it here. I promise. Also get the manifest everything journal. That link is in the description below. I tell you guys to get the journal because it's going to help you manifest faster. I don't care if you buy six of these, you need it. Go get it. You'll love it and you'll thank me later. I promise. The TikTok link is in the description below. In case you don't have TikTok, you don't want to do TikTok, it's fine. Go to simplicitystem.com. On that link, I have my Manifest Everything journal front and center. You can buy it there well, okay? Also, guys, if you're international, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm working on getting my journal internationalized, okay? I promise. So I'm sorry. Um, I'm missing something. Ah! Coaching. I do have coaching, guys. So if you need any help with manifesting your SP, manifesting money, check out the one on coaching session. We got that time slot available for you. Also, I do have an um, a Track Your Desires course. It is all about manifesting. So if you need help manifesting a specific person, check out the course. If you need help manifesting money, check out the course. It gets updated every single month. So do not worry. And you're going to love it. Bye, y'all.